Hi guys, so in this video I'm going to try to teach you guys how to create boundary wireframe uh, for uh, toolpathing operations. And uh, so I brought up a file here and uh, what I'm going to do to start is I'm going to, I'm going to put in a plane, I create a new plane uh, from a solid face and I'm going to create that on top of my part and I'm going to call that plane uh, draw uh, let's see, this is G56, G56, uh, top face. And so, so what that'll do is, uh, um, I mean, there, there isn't any need for this to have a work offset. It's just for, for drawing. It'd be great if they had, uh, a drawing planes manager inside planes manager that took all the the planes that aren't uh you know geometry related but instead you get this hodgepodge of bullshit which is you know great later on when your file gets really huge anyway so now we're going to go to uh with silhouette boundary we'll click we click on this we click on the part and what, what it will give us is a uh um a total outline of, of the entire part no matter so like if I click on the the part up here it's going to give me this full outline and I'm not going to show you that because that's not what I'm trying to do and it's going to pollute the drawings and, and levels actually I guess I could go to I could go to levels and I could create a level 500 and it's going to be example example boundary damn it anyway example boundary so uh here's a silhouette boundary i'm going to put on that plane i'm in draw uh i want to be in geo i i, I really don't know you know probably probably i only need construction here but uh I, i'm i'm not going to screw with it i'm going to put everything in here so that i don't uh get um this geometry to spit out somewhere I don't want it and so uh, let's see that's my selection for silhouette boundary and uh, green check through and I don't know why it uh, is, is having to think right now There it went. See the boundary, my blue, my blue wireframe. So now I could like maybe face this or area, area rough this. Uh, but but I'm gonna take and, and make a uh, now a new path, a new uh, level 501, which is gonna be example, uh, example curve all edges boundary. Okay, so I'm in my correct drawing plane where I want this geometry to appear in Z height. Okay, so that's what defined the Z height of where this appeared was the plane I'm in. Then uh, I'm in my uh, 501 level in the levels manager. And I'm going curve all edges. And now I can... Uh, uh, I believe I should be able to... Oh, I already had a selection. That's my maybe my problem. Curve all edges. Uh, no, it didn't work. Let me see. Uh, I believe this is how... Well, maybe I clicked silhouette boundary. Okay, I'm sorry. So I still use silhouette boundary. And uh, now I grab solid selection because these items are grayed out. Uh, and it's already got two of these icons operational which is not going to help me because it's it's not going to mask properly so i wanted face selection you know and uh i'll go to levels manager uh drop out the view of 501 which i wanted to say was where uh shoot i already have geometry on 501 so i'm gonna have to make a level 502 that's empty Okay, so drop 500, drop 501. Now I've got a clean part. 
I want to grab this face, so I, so I, you know, made, made the selection to make these uh, masks active. Click face selection. Click on the face. And now I can go back to my SOA boundary operation, green check, and uh, press enter. And it should create me a chain around this uh, face. And I mean, I'm having this tessellating thing go on, which is really, who knows, it's thinking. Uh, somebody did some drawing in the CAD environment of Mastercam on this file. And this these files are not from, these are from a different CAD interface. And uh, I, I it was weird, as soon as he did the CAD work in Mastercam, this became a slow file. Uh, anyway, uh, that was a boundary face. For an example and, and here's another example uh, I'm going to click on this face well that didn't work so uh, I have to solid select again Mastercam makes you these redundancies a lot so uh, I was already in face but it, it, it automatically took me out of face so I'm gonna grab that I'm gonna grab that I'm gonna grab this and selection uh, green check through and what you'll see is you'll see different wireframes appear, allowing you to have some flexibility in uh, uh, communicating to the other toolpathing tools in Mastercam. So this is an example of uh, one one way to get geometry out of here without clicking every single line and without having little errors because Mastercam classically doesn't like to like join the ends of lines and stuff, and then you might have to use. Uh, they make these little files, and I forget the, what they're called, but they uh, they have like little applications designed by people out there suffering with Mastercam, and uh, they're not actually integrated into the software. Maybe Mastercam didn't want to pay for them, but they end up in the software somewhere, and you to use them, you have to be a real power user, and I don't even know how to use them because they're not buttons here, but there's a tool that closes the lines of a, of a drawing that you might make with these types of tools here, curve edge and curve slice and curve flow line and stuff like that. And uh, that stuff gets very complicated, but at least this tool, the, the silhouette boundary tool, creates some geometry that is a closed loop so you don't spend 45 minutes trying to close your sketch. Um, anyway, I hope this helps you guys. Uh, the other day I had a problem where I wanted to create ge geometry and I, I was like, I, I, I saw a boundary uh, video and they were like, well, you just, you know, cr grab a filter and use the faces. And the problem was it was an older interface, so it didn't apply to 2019 anymore. But this is a video that applies to 2019, so uh, that's why I figured I'd make it because I couldn't find it yesterday.